Hey, so I'm going to be doing a cast between Cole Medigun and Indra, and I thought giving a cast would be pretty fun. I haven't done a cast in a while, so might as well give it a shot since it's kind of been like two or three months. Uh, I don't consider the other videos that I've been doing uh, cast because I'm just basically explaining uh, different types of builds that you can implement into your strategy or into your play. So anyways... We have Idra spawning at the top right, and we have Minigun spawning at the bottom left, and this is on Shakur's plateau. And neither of these players are going random. Idra is well known for going Zerg, and Minigun for going Protoss. And it looks like he's going to go for a Forge fast expand based on the positioning of his pylon. So he's most likely going to put a Forge here. Or what some Protoss players do if they feel really ballsy is that they'll just put a Nexus at their natural right away before they go for a forge but that's only if idra goes for uh, his natural right away before his spawning pool and he thinks that idra is not gonna he's gonna play extremely greedily he's gonna drone up a bit before he gets his spawning pool before the uh a after he gets his natural of course so looks like he's he's just gonna drop down the forge right away i'm just saying that's a slight variation you can do uh, when it comes to doing a forge fast expand, there's a greedy way of playing it, and there's a super greedy way of playing it. And a forge fast expand is a pretty greedy build. And it looks like he's saving up those minerals to put down that nexus right away before he puts down the cannon. Uh, and I say that because he stopped pro production. And on top of that, he's going to block Idra's hatchery. I love this. Uh, he's using his probe as much as possible to prevent that hatchery from going down. And he's going to... I feel like he's going to be way ahead now. And the question is, is he going to let that pylon finish? I'm not entirely sure. That would kind of that would put him kind of far behind. Not really. I would think it would put the Zerg player farther behind. And that's what Minigun feels like as well. So he lets that finish and... Idra is forced to build some Zerglings instead of drones uh, to kill off this pylon. And the reason why Idra keeps the drone on this pylon is to prevent the shields from regenerating since he's already caused some damage on there. And Idra wanting to go for an expansion over here and Minigun just anticipates it and sends his probe down here immediately. And it looks like Idra's just going to send one link to deal with that. And he's going to send the, the rest of the three links to deal with that. And Idra's just immediately going to go for two expansions. Kind of a risky build, but at the same time, Minigun knows what he's doing. And he's he could go for two basic Russian. He could go for a timing attack right before Idra's economy hits in. But that's going to be a while. That's going to be at least four or five minutes before he can actually push out. So for now, he's just going to play defensively. He's going to get his gateway, try to block off the ramp with the Z-Law to prevent any circling run buys. And now the question is, is Idra going to want to run up there? And the answer is no. That cannon will be able to kill off both those slings before they get by. And even if they do get by, the probes will kill it. But it would be good scouting information if Idra actually got one lean in. I, I think... He could actually just make it by to see, you know, if Minigun's going for double gas or not. Or just what type of style of play he's just going to implement. And just keep in mind, both of these players are Grandmaster in North America. I don't know about their ranks in any of their other leagues. It looks like this is a full wall-off. I didn't actually realize that. Uh kind of interesting so he's gonna need to kill off one of these buildings it seems like minigun is just having this huge wall off instead of uh using a pylon or zealot because he's maybe worried about a baneling buff so idra would need quite a few banelings to be able to bust up one of these buildings if he were to choose it be that one anyways idra is droning up quite a bit and if we look at the income uh he's still a little bit behind but that's about to change he's going to catch up pretty fast and he's even putting down a macro hatchery in anticipation when his economy starts to get really going and minigun is just probing up and it looks like he's gonna go for a timing attack based on the amount of gateways he's putting up 
I'm assuming he's going to put down at least a couple more once he gets the money. And he just has to be careful not to supply block himself. Idra is making a, a few Zerglings. I guess he's afraid that the Protoss player is going to be moving out pretty soon. Or for that Stalker and Zila. Either one of those. And uh, I'm kind of curious why he doesn't have speed yet. And I'm assuming that's because the hatchery being blocked and that kind of messed up his play. Especially the hatchery being blocked over here as well for quite a bit of time. And uh, he hasn't even started that research yet. So we can see the Protoss player going for plus one. He's getting his warp gates. And, uh, oh, I thought this was another gateway, a robotics facility. So he's either just going to go for Colossus right away or Immortals. He's, I, I don't know, I'm just really curious to see what he's up to. So five gateways. Uh, he may either be using this build to secure a third so that way he can safely get that as well and it looks like he's gonna go for the siren next core he's probably putting that down already right now or actually he could just go around i think he just realized that and he's most likely gonna cancel that siren next core it's kind of a long funnel he has to go through and that was kind of a misread on idris part he could have actually just ran through here and yeah uh, minigun is going to deny that scouting uh both scouting from both angles now, Idra losing both of those overlords is not that big of a deal. That's part of the metagame. Idra does have to sacrifice a couple overlords, one or two, to be able to get sufficient scouting information to see what Minigun is up to. But if we look at Idra's angle, uh, he was able to see these three gateways, but he doesn't know what's over here. So he doesn't know quite what to expect. And we see Idra just being able to see that Minigun is going to move out. And Idra does already have his speed. So he will be able to deal with this army pretty sufficiently. But those force fields is what's pretty deadly. And it's all going to come down to how well can Minigun force field. And will he be able to cause enough damage uh, with this force field. Now Idra does have some roaches as well to be able to counteract those force fields. And roaches do exceptionally well. Uh, against this composition. Normally when they have speed though. Is Idra getting speed? He's working on it. And I guess he's just hoping Minigun is just going to hold off. Until Idra's ready for this attack. And I'm just curious to see what the income is at this point. And Idra is a little bit far ahead. Not too far ahead. And oh this is so dirty by Minigun. He's just going to run up here. And he's going to force field. Not letting Idra come up in. He's going to be able to take this. They're just scot-free without losing any units. He's just going to keep force fielding over and over. And he can't afford to let any units get by. Uh, he lets a few units get by, I guess, to take out a few Zerglings. Uh, not really the most effective force fields. And he's going to be able to take out this hatchery pretty easily. Idra's supply blocked as well. This is going to take uh, make Idra pretty far behind and the minigun's just being able to scout out what type of composition Idra has and he's able to kill more roaches that are just rallied over here and Idra's I mean minigun's just probably gonna force field again he lets in a few zerglings he's gonna lose quite a few units not too many and that spore crawler is actually causing quite a bit of damage to that warp prism it's actually gonna take it out and I can only imagine the rage that Idra is feeling right now, just letting this go by. Uh, he should have had his units, this was kind of his fault. He should have had a better position and now he's just going to force field again, let these units funnel by. Or not, just let a few units funnel by. And if we look at the units lost tab, Idra is really far behind and I don't see what he could do at this point. Uh, it's already pretty much game for minigun he's already got this in the bag i would only assume so because if Idra decides to go for a counter attack look at all these cannons he has a mortal to counter these roaches um, a bunch of stalkers minigun didn't even take a risk and go for a third he's just he just wants to play this as safely as possible 
and I can only imagine what's going through his mind right now. What can I do to get back into this game? Since the Protoss player's supply is way ahead of Vidro's. And this is kind of interesting. He's going for a third over here instead of over here. And I feel like this is a really good idea since he's protected by rocks. And he can use this high ground advantage to just shoot whatever he can. And he's just going to constantly... I like this. Like... He's just probably waiting for these units to come back down, but really there's a warp prism over here that's able to take these units over here, drop it down, and he's going to be able to protect this third pretty sufficiently. He can just force field this all day. He has a bunch of sentries, almost on full energy, and he's even going to reinforce this with more stalkers. Idra backs up immediately. I think that's a good idea. And we just see... Him having full energy on one Nexus, but that's okay. Still really far ahead. And I just wonder what Idra is thinking at this point. Um, go, he's, yeah, run by would not be a good idea. He even tries to block it off the pylon, immediately kills off the pylon after the Zerglings try to run in and are unsuccessful. And... I was kind of curious at first why he would just block it off like that. And it looks like he's just going to go for another counterattack. He saved this army. He was able to kill off almost the equivalent of a Zerg army because of all the reinforcing roaches, the reinforcing Zerglings, etc. And he was able to get an observer. Observers are really easy to see and putting down a few more cannons to protect this nexus sufficiently against any zergling rumbys or roach attack it's gonna buy enough time for his army to get back in position to protect it and he he's even gonna put down some pylons to block it off and it this is the preferable angle for the zerg player to attack if there weren't any pylons or photon cannons now idra has to go all the way around if he wants to get a good engagement spot And this is a really huge army by Idra. He's now ahead in supply. I'm surprised he actually was able to catch up. And now it's just going to come down to who's going to have the better micro. Is Miniguns Force Fields again going to be really effective? Is he going to be able to take out an expansion? We're just going to have to wait and find out and see who's going to win this engagement. Now keep in mind Templars are going to be the game changing maneuver and I'm kind of curious to see why Idra doesn't go for any Hydra list. I would think that would be a superb idea since he has creep he can micro really easily with this Hydra list on creep since they move fast and Idra decides to engage really good force fields on many guns part he's preventing all those investors from fungal growthing he's preventing those roaches from getting inside there and it just trying to mind control those immortals but was unsuccessful and minigun feels like he's safe enough to push in and he's even going to force field take out a few roaches and investors and he's just gonna be pretty much good to go to take out whatever he wants and i feel like he just wants to play it safe right now he does have quite a few immortals to deal with those roaches and an immortal can take out a lot of roaches and he even has a warp prism here in place to be able to do some harass but Idra already anticipating that by getting a few spine crawlers and he decides to move it a little bit he may want to take out this hatchery as well if he can should have hit that in the beginning oh well Idris already mined out at his main. I'm kind of surprised that this game dragged out way longer than it was supposed to. Uh, Minigun, I felt like it was just playing it really safe most of that game. Didn't want to push in, didn't want to overcommit. And just basically got his third, now getting his fourth. And it's just chilling out. And is able to catch all these spine crawlers out of position. And he's just going to push in Storm being really effective. He's going to be able to storm these Zerglings as well if he chooses to, but he has enough Zealots to deal with it. All these Infestors trying to mind control the Immortals. 
kind of effective, was able to take out a lot of stalkers, but these investors are being countered by these stalkers, and Idris just going to lose them. He's not even trying to micro them or move back. Uh, I guess he was focused somewhere else, either that or he just gave up. And Minigun is going to be able to take this game. Uh, it was kind of obvious in the beginning that Minigun was going to win based on the advantage he had taking out this third expo. And was just able to win super easily. And Minigun could just re reinforce this all day long. He could keep warping in Z-Lots, warping in... Uh, stalkers, reinforcing with immortals, etc. And Idra would not be able to take out this army because Protoss is OP. No, I'm just kidding. All the races are kind of balanced. Maybe Protoss a little more favored. But anyways, that's that cast. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And yeah.